And now to politics, where the election for the mayor of our state's largest city is now just two weeks from tomorrow. And tonight, their own Emily Longnecker was there as the candidates faced off here in Indianapolis on issues impacting the city's African-American community. Monday's debate focused on issues the city's African-American community is concerned about, on the number of homicides disproportionately affecting black males. Senator Merritt said it should be the number one job of the mayor to address it. We need to create an Indianapolis commission on the social status of, of uh, African-American males. I think that is very important. Merritt also said if elected, he'd bring back the position of public safety director. Along with Bill Benjamin being the chief of police, his, his uh, record is undeniable at IMPD. Mayor Hogsett pointed to the city's return to community beat policing under his watch and 150 new officers added in his first term. We have increased uh, the pay for first and second year police officers to recruit uh, vigorously more police officers. Jobs were also a concern. Hogsett highlighted a program launched this fall that centers on higher education with the help of scholarships and grants to students at Ivy Tech and IUPUI. That will help ensure that more of our residents are prepared for the jobs of the 21st century. Merritt focused on making it possible for the city to award contracts to more minority-owned businesses. We have to allow these individuals who want to be a prime contractor and a subcontractor to have access and knowledge of grants. Affordable housing and access to food also on the list. All home housing development in Indianapolis uh, will have a 10 percent uh, affordable housing set aside that I believe a food TIF, a food tax incremental financing district where we can incentivize uh, grocery stores, groceries to the neighborhoods. Any development that includes city funding must include affordable housing. We will not solve a problem with 20th century grocery stores and supermarkets if we're not embracing 21st century solutions. And we want to let you know early voting is going on right now across Marion County. In fact, we've posted a list of locations and times along with our other political coverage of the mayoral race. It's online tonight. Just go to WTHR.com slash elections.